Hey, I'm Cade, and this is Cade Made, and in today's video, we'll be making some simple and expensive thrift decor lampshades. And some of the materials you'll need for today's project are paper cords, some natural fiber rope, some hot glue sticks and hot glue guns, some snippers and scissors, and some clamps. And also, you're gonna need some lampshades that you don't mind taking apart. So this one was covered in this white plastic material, and I just simply just started taking it off. It came off really easily. It wasn't glued on or anything. And as I took it off, it revealed a perfectly silver chrome grid that I thought would be great for weaving. So I started taking these nine foot lengths of this paper cord, which comes in these 600 foot rolls and started unwinding it uh, because I thought it would just increase the space that the paper cord could use in this particular lampshade. And as I unwound it, it was a beautiful textured ribbon and I just kept going and going and going. And it takes a little bit of work and you have to kind of get a hang of unwinding it. But once I did that, it was pretty easy. And then I ironed the lengths. I just put some steam in the iron, put it on high, ironed them pretty quickly. It looked great and it made it a little easier to weave in, but I don't know if it was 100% necessary. Um, and then I clamped on one end and then wove it like a basket. Just had a lot of fun. What's great about this project is that it's very loose. There's no particular rhyme or reason to how you're going to weave this basket. If you want to make it really clean and just go in a circle, you can. Um, I just decided to kind of get a start and weave it. And then I created sort of a shape. I wanted to create some shapes in this. So I wound my material down and I just glued one end of it so that it would hold that part of it because the paper would be flopping around otherwise. So I wanted to start weaving different materials into the lampshade itself, but it started looking pretty good. So I just kept going. I wove a little bit more of my ribbon in there. I wove some of the unwound, just the regular paper cord in there, and then this natural fiber rope. And the natural fiber rope was a really, really great material to work with. It was actually easier than the paper ribbon, and it created an alternate texture, but it was still on the same natural color scheme that the paper cord is creating on this. Um, and what's great about the natural color scheme in this is that this color scheme can go with many decor styles. Farmhouse, bohemian, modern. This looks great in a lot of different applications of design. Um, some of the uh, rope, I wound it as I was weaving it and it made it even prettier. I really, really liked how this turned out. And here I'm just gluing all of the loose parts of the different woven things on the inside of the lampshade and just making sure that there's nothing hanging on the outside of the lampshade. I did finish off the top and the bottom of this with just a small piece of sort of like circular wood that I found. Um, but you can use some of the rope, you can use some of the cord, and it would just finish it off so it, it looks just a little bit more finished. But overall, simple, simple, simple project. I was giddy with excitement when it was finished and then I decided to work on another one for this particular project I was doing. And this next lampshade is one you more typically find at the thrift store so I just took all the exterior materials off that I didn't want. I didn't even paint it or anything because I kind of like the patina. And then I wound the paper cord around it just a bunch. Randomly I did a couple different ones. I glued them on as I did it but just got a bunch of material wound on the outside. And then I started winding each metal part with the paper cord and made sure that all of my wound materials were secured into place as it went down and then covered that metal underneath. I tried to make the lengths of the paper cord that I was working with really easy enough but covered the whole length of each metal piece going top to bottom. And then I decided to make some tassels. I had never made tassels before, but I just used a piece of wood for about the length that I wanted my tassels to be. And I wound some very thin yarn that was in this sort of graduated color scheme and around a simple piece of wood. I like working with wood because it's, um, you can cut into it when you're razor blading the end of the tassels off. I used a zip tie to hold one section of the wound material. I wound it 100 times. And then I put a little bit of the yarn around it to make the top part that you will tie on to your lampshade. Just make sure it's tied securely. And then you turn that around on the exact opposite end of where it is on the one side and cut that with a blade. Just be super careful when you're cutting that. And then you get these like two sides that are separate. So I clamped it and then I just tied 
about a thumb's width space at the top, pretty tight. I wound it around a couple of times. And then you just cut the ends off of the tassels. It takes a while to make tassels, but I love tassels. Who doesn't love tassels? Um, trim the ends like you cut hair. That's what I did. And then I divided the tassels up from front to back because the color was graduated and I wanted it to go in a circle around to get this sort of ombre effect, if you will. And it's hilarious how much these things can break my brain. It takes me a minute. Look at me. I'm coming. Look. Oh, oh, getting it. Getting them in line. And then I just tied them on. And then after you're finished tying them on and you actually have it hung down, you're going to have to comb your tassels. Yeah, it's like making tassels is almost like putting yarn through the beauty salon. So just have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like what you saw please comment like subscribe and do all the things and check out the description for links to some of the materials i use today have a wonderful one and we'll see you next time on Cade made